Mr. Cardo Zell, I'm with Ewar Webb in the Shadow League. Please tell me about your film and your role in it. Um, my name is Kylie Y. Turner. I play the mother in the cycle film. Um, it's a film about basically kind of what's going on right now with uh, this kind of cop society, you know. The, the unrest between, you know, people that are paid to protect and serve and the citizens that they're supposed to be protecting and serving and how that relationship is so complicated. Um, the really great thing about the film that's really unique is that it looks at it from both perspectives. Um, and me playing the mom, I, and I am a mom in real life, I have an eight-year-old boy, you know, so that, so it is something that's really real to me as well, you know, because he will one day be older and, and be looked at in that way, unfortunately. Um, so we're hoping that this film will create dialogue and that will in turn create change. Um, please talk about the, um, the issue of like the cops in the film, they're black cops mm -hmm. and black people are involved. And people keep saying, oh, it's a matter of black and white. No, it's a matter of black and white. Yeah. 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 We'll see, you know, it's, it's unfortunate because uh, imperialism is we're talking about. We're talking about institutionalized racism, you know, and so black officers still have to follow white policy, you know, and it's unfortunate. Um, actually, my 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 father's side of the family, every single one of them except my father, was Boston PD. Yeah, and so it's interesting because one of my uncles, who was a sergeant on the force for some 30 odd years, when he retired, someone came over the radio and said, "Good riddance, nigger." So there's that there's that blue veil, you know, and as a black officer, you have to deal with being black and you have to deal with the blue. So it's a really uh, complex situation. Yes. <laughs> social issues, um, dealing with works of the underprivileged, very similar to the cycle film. Um, we do a series of readings and then we have a panel-led discussion afterwards. Uh, and our first one was in Harlem and that dealt with police brutality. So I'm, I personally am all about, you know, this work and trying to create change in these different venues. And I'm really hoping that the cycle film also, you know, it can get to even more people, really get out to the masses and people can really like stop ignoring these things, you know, these issues. I need all the all the uh, Everybody say what's up. I don't have a car. I hear a, a, a activist. Oh yeah, I'm I'm very much an, an artist. Come on, yeah, it's modernist. Exactly. Yeah. But um, I mean, just the fact that you are a mother, my child, yeah. and you express the history of your family in yeah. Boston, and you have a unique viewpoint on black angst from there yeah. to there. Yeah. What's that like? You know, um, I'm not going to lie, at the end of the day, I'm still a sister and I don't like the cops either. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, at times we do need them, and it's interesting that oftentimes when I have needed them, they're not around, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Um, but I but I do see the other side of that, you know what I mean? I do understand that they're facing just as, you know, these black officers are facing pressure just as much as anybody else, you know? They're facing pressure from the white officers, e exactly. and they're facing pressure from within the community. Exactly. You need to get these drug dealers exactly. off. Exactly, exactly. Somebody got murdered last night. Exactly. Where was you? Yeah, yep. I've heard so, they, so, you know, they have both sides of the coin that they're trying to deal with. So I, I understand that. And I, and this film does a great job of showing that that psychology that this officer goes through after shooting this unarmed um, team. But it's, mm -hmm. but it's really fear-driven. And it's unfortunate because your life, you're putting your life on the line. So you don't really know, you know. 